So for those of you who watch my channel, you guys know that I love using Tailwind CSS in all my classes. I think it's a great way to style your components and your pages. And it has a lot of benefits of using, you know, the atomic CSS style over just traditional CSS, in my opinion. But one thing that I really dislike about Tailwind is as your classes get super long, you end up having to scroll all the way to the right. And it's just kind of annoying. So I made a little joke on Twitter, which got a lot of views, where basically I'm just taking the Tailwind classes and I'm reducing them to just the first letter of their names. And Coding in Flow, which is another YouTuber, I'll put the link in the description to go check him out and also follow him on Twitter. He left this comment where basically he's saying use emojis for all the class names. When I first saw this, I laughed. I thought it was a joke, but then I actually started thinking about this and like, is this possible? And it turns out that this is actually possible. So I went ahead and made a hieroglyph CSS library, which I've published to NPM, which basically just has a bunch of these different emoji classes applied. So for example, for flex, we have this flexing arm. For flex grow, we have the eggplant. For centering or justifying centering, we have the praying hands. For gap four, we have a stop symbol. And then for gap eight, it's a hand symbol with this little bit of space between his fingers. And then for gap 12, it is even more space. So I kind of just went through here and just started adding emojis in like various classes to kind of overload the existing Tailwind classes. And I went ahead and ran npm publish, which is, by the way, if you never published an npm package, once you log in to npm, you can actually just run npm publish. It's going to look at your package JSON. It's going to go ahead and look at this main here. And it's going to publish that to npm, right? So after I publish this npm package, I can just simply import this in my other project. So over here in package.json here, I imported hieroglyph CSS. And then in my global CSS, I just went ahead and imported this node module here so that I get all those existing Tailwind classes. Now I have a page which has basically all of the layout styled using emojis. Notice that there's not a single Tailwind CSS class here. It's just all emojis. And this is how that page looks. You'll notice that we have a side navigation. This is using flex column. We have a top header that's using flex row with space between for the um, justify content. And then we have a three grid here with items and some buttons and stuff like that with rounded corners. And I'm going to kind of walk you through the code. Again, this is just a joke. Like this isn't something serious, but I just wanted to kind of take a break from doing my normal content and like really dive into, you know, what would it look like to make glasses with emojis? I think sometimes going down paths that are unconventional and help you learn different approaches to solving problems, right? Now at the service level, this seems stupid, but actually from using this, when I started getting used to using this, it's actually pretty easy to see what's going on, right? But let's just break this down real quick. We got a header over here. And for this one, this is background of white. Okay. And that's why it's white over here. And then over here, we have a jar for container. We have flex. We have padding two. We have justify space between over here, which is basically pushing these things um, apart. Okay. And then we have text to black and we have a text size over here. And then we have the bullseye, which if I get rid of this, this is basically just centering stuff in the center, right? It's doing a, um, an item center. So then for the nav, we have the same thing. We have a flex with centered items and we have a little bit of gap. Notice that this is like the most gap you can do. And that's putting some gap between these components. For image, I have a rounded circle. This is basically rounded full in Tailwind and that's gonna make this round. Okay, so now looking at the main, we have this left and right arrow. Basically, this is saying do a flex, but then also do a align items center on that um, layout. So that's kind of making it go left and right here. And then on the nav itself, I have this arrow pointing up that's saying align to the start of it. So if I were to get rid of this and save it, notice that it pushes it way down here. So the uh, pointing up hand actually pushes that to the top. And then we have a flex column here. This is flex column. And then we have a little bit of gap between the components. We have some extra gap between these components. Um, again, this is just a normal flex row with some gap. Like they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. And just by looking at the class names, I can quickly see that, okay, I know what this is doing. I don't have to go and read a bunch of like words. All right, so for the grid, a uh, grid of three is gonna be the middle with a three. If you wanted to do a grid of two or a one, you could do like the first place or second place middle. And then we have this peach, which is with a full, which was another recommendation from a Twitter user. So I think this one's a pretty good, pretty fitting one. I believe this one is making the rectangle round. We got white background. We got the um, vertical flow, I guess the column flex. We have gap, we have text of black, we have padding three, okay? And this is text of, I think this is text of extra large. I have to go back and check. And then over here we have a button, which is background of black. We got rounded edges, we got white text, and we got one padding. 
And so it's funny because like I didn't spend much time doing this, right? I spent maybe like 45 minutes building out this library, but you start understanding what these icons mean. And it actually becomes really easy to just look at the, the icons and see like what they're about to do. I don't know. I thought this was a pretty cool approach. And uh, the, the fact that I was able to lay this entire application out just by using emojis, I thought was pretty interesting and worth sharing in a video. Anyway, if you guys want to play around with this, I'll put the link to this little GitHub repo in the description. I got some text. I gave some credits to Coding and Flow, which kind of gave me the idea. And then I also just kind of list out how you can get started with it, how to import it into your global CSS. And then I listed out all of the different styles that you can potentially use. And then down here at the bottom, I say how to contribute. Don't. This was a joke because honestly, I'm probably going to abandon this after today. But feel free to do what you want with this repo. I put it here in case anyone wants to play around with it as well. All right, that's about it. I'm curious on your thoughts about this approach to basically styling your classes using emojis. If you enjoyed watching me, give me a thumbs up. And like always, I have a Discord channel. You guys are welcome to join if you want to find a place to kind of hang out and talk to other developers. Other than that, have a good day and happy coding.